The jinx, Robert Durst, has been moved to a psychiatric ward as he awaits trial for the murder of his friend. His wife vanished without a trace back in 1982, and now police want to know if he is involved in the disappearance of two teenage girls nearly 20 years ago. In 1997, Durst was believed to be in Northern California when 18-year-old Kristen Madoffrey and then 16-year-old Karen Mitchell disappeared. This police sketch of a suspect from the Mitchell case appears similar to Durst, but cops won't comment on the ongoing investigation. Back to his current arrest, we have new details from the just released search warrant. Police believe Durst was planning to change his identity and flee the country after they found a latex mask in his New Orleans hotel room. Also recovered over $42,000 in cash and four live rounds of ammunition. And as his Houston home was raided by police yesterday, Durst was deemed suicidal and moved to a mental health facility. Could all this lead to an insanity plea? There is a, a possibility that uh, he will raise a defense of insanity and uh, will get off criminal guilt uh, that way. Durst has a bail hearing set for next week where he is expected to contest felony charges of gun and marijuana possession. He will eventually end up back in L.A. to face the murder charge.